Welcome back. We are now beginning our fifth week of no walk-in traffic. And um, this is a great place to be. It's a great spot to be quarantined, but we're beginning to get a little stir crazy and we're beginning to um, need some companions. So we've invited some gals that have been here for a while and we're gonna introduce them to you today. Um, we've also found that Creations has been here for a long time and we started off as a sewing store. We weren't just a quilt store. So we've always kept our garment sewing and we know that our customers know how to sew. We always just thought our job was to inspire them to sew again. So that's what we're talking about today is some of the easy patterns that we make. You might have bought these patterns, they're not new. We've used the same patterns for lots of years because they fit and people love them. But we're gonna show you some things that we've done out of them and inspire you to get that pattern out and um, try this yourself. So this is our first girl. She's been with us for a long time, but we're delighted to have her back and she's um, all dressed up and nowhere to go. It's kind of the feeling that we have these days, but um, we're getting ready. So this is a great summer top and the fabrics that these are made out of are all cotton. They're hand woven and um, they launder beautifully. We always, um, recommend that you pre-wash your fabrics for garment construction. I want to see if the fabric's going to shrink. I want to see what it's going to look like. And in this case, my fabric becomes more interesting. It has um, a nice little knob that, that is not on the flat piece of fabric. So for a lot of reasons, I, I pre-wash. Not necessarily my quilting fabrics, but always my clothing fabrics. So this particular pattern is from um, cutting line and it's called Simplify Your Life. It actually has two different patterns on it and the one that we always seem to feature is the easiest one to sew and it has uh, no sleeve so you don't even have to worry about setting in a sleeve. It has no collar so you don't have to worry about a collar um, and it I call it the baseball shirt. It's just very simple and a great summer top. So we're going to take a little look around the store and meet some of our other friends who are dressed up and ready to go. And the next group of patterns that we want to take a look at is um, this one. We haven't had a dress pattern in the store in a long time. Seems like we're mostly about tops and pants, but this is just a darling dress pattern. And it has a cute uh, way to cover up a sleeve to give you a little bit of a sleeve. It, it's from a company called um, Sew to Grow, which was strange to us because we weren't sure if that was a maternity or children's patterns but they have some adorable patterns and the thing about being able to see the models made up when you come in the shop is that if you look at the pattern from their choices of fabric you can't tell that there's a, a sleeve on there you just can't see what you can actually see when they're made up one thing that's really nice about this pattern is that they do give you two links one if you're a dress person it gives you a nice dress and if not you can have it as a top. The fabric set we used for this one, this is an all rayon, which we love that because it, um, it just drapes so well. And then for summer, this one is a cotton and rayon, so it has the coolness of the cotton and rayon, but a little bit of drapeability to it. And it's called Aloha, so wouldn't it be a nice place to be going these days? We're moving on to another section in the store, so we've got some other things that we want to show you. And don't forget, we have that surprise guest coming. The next pattern that we want to look at is one of our all-time favorites. It is absolutely sewing 101. It is a beginning sewing project, and if you haven't sewed in a long time, want to try something simple, this is a great one to do. There's very little fit. It's a nice oversized pattern. So all it requires is that you make it out of something that's soft and drapey. And one of our favorite fabrics is printed linen. In all the years that we've been here, Julie and I are always hunting natural fibers. I'm always hunting linen and then to find printed linen was just amazing and these linen prints are all digital we're um, so thrilled to have them so if you find a pattern that you love 
you can make that same pattern over and over again, which is of course what we do. We just enjoy that. Uh, one thing that's great about these linens is that they are machine washable. And we um, want you to wash them ahead of time. Put them in the washer, put them in the dryer. They come out as good as any linen is going to come out because we all know linen but i think the thing that makes these linen special is the printing on them and so one it hides the wrinkles and two the designs and the printing with the digital printing process is just amazing so we are thrilled to have these linens they're 54 inches wide and um I think once you've sewed with one of them, you'll want to come back and sew again with those. The pattern that we chose for these three gals is um, Sewing Workshops, the London shirt. It's just a simple, oversized, uneven hem uh, pattern that looks good on most people. So we um, are delighted to show this one to you. And as, as long as you don't try to make it out of something that's too stiff, you'll be successful. Now we've moved on to one of my favorites that we've carried this fabric in our store for over 20 years and it's Bally Rayon. We are all familiar with Bally Batiks and those are great quilting fabrics but they're not great clothing fabrics. To me they're a little bit stiff and so I've always enjoyed the rayons. I enjoy the drape of them. These are wash and dry rayons. They are not your typical rayon that you remember from years ago that oh my goodness it's going to be hard to sew it's going to wrinkle it's not going to be very um, inviting but these rayons want to go in the washing machine and then they want to go in the dryer so you toss them in the dryer on warm and um, bring them out when they're dry you'll have to do a little more ironing if you use your dryer as your storage area but if you get them out they come out just great so we're going to look at three different patterns that we've used for these rayons and the first one is called the gallery tunic it's a very simple simple pattern um, it has one little stand-up collar and then a couple of different links i found it to be very flattering on different people and the only thing that we did differently to this pattern was that we added buttons and buttonholes and don't panic um, all those fancy machines we all own they make great buttonholes they're very simple to do so this is a very flattering garment on and uh, it looks we've made it in linen um, and it looks great in linen and it looks great in the rayon the other one that we're going to look at is um, just a very simple shirt very easy neckline one button so if you're afraid of three you can do one and uh, the pattern on that one is called artists in motion again it's just an oversized simple pattern um, opening in the front and no collar to worry about all of the patterns that we're looking at have drop sleeves so you're not dealing with a set in sleeve that's difficult for people so everything we've done is very simple and the artists in motion pattern is again from uh, cutting corners and it's um, another pattern that we've sold for years. So again, these are not all brand new patterns. We use the same pattern over and over and over again. If we get one that we like and it fits well, we'll continue to use it. And then another pattern, it's the one that I'm wearing, it's called the Little Something Jacket and it is about as simple as you can get. So if you're still afraid of buttonholes and you're still afraid of collars, this is the pattern for you. I, I know several people that could even make this pattern. It's very simple but sometimes you just want a little something on your sleeves and it's unlined, unstructured, very simple. So rayons are perfect for it because they're the same on the front and the back. You don't have, it's not flipping open to a solid color in the back. So um, for, for me, it's just great, that little extra, extra something. And the pattern on this one, I know you probably have this one. It's one that's been around again for a long time and it looks like this. You'll go, you may not recognize it made up, but you'll recognize the front. So remember the rayons, um, machine wash, machine dry, and enjoy sewing them. And now we're gonna move on to our last segment and you're gonna get to meet that guest star we were talking about. And this is our last group of fabrics that you want, we wanna show you. It's called Manchester. And these fabrics have come from Robert Kaufman, 
they're all cotton but they have the look of linen so if you kind of tuned out when I was talking about linen because of the, the ironing but you love the texture and the cotton then this fabric might be just the right one for you the pattern that we chose to make this one out of is called the Frankie shirt and it's a new pattern for us so it's maybe one you ha you don't have yet the idea of the Frankie shirt is that it looks very much like our London shirt, but it has a little bit more detail on it. And this is where I'm gonna bring in our surprise guest, our surprise girl, to show you that detail. Can you guess who that might be? Yes, Hi, I've finally everybody? gotten her to come in and, <laughs> and do a video with me after numerous requests. So she's gonna turn around and show her backside. <laughs> and so Tina can get an idea of what that shirt looks like in the back and all the detail. But it's a, a fun shirt to make, like I say, just a little more so in detail than, um, than uh, the London shirt, which is very simple, but it's very flattering on. And as with both of us, and what we've always said at Creations is that anything goes with blue jeans. <laughs> and all those tops, everything we've showed goes great with blue jeans. So the two of us are still here, mm -hmm. and um, we are eager for the day when we can invite you back into our store. But until then, I guess we'll keep talking to the girls that are here. So thanks Thank for visiting. So uh huh. Much.